Good day, YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. Second of October, 2018. And behold, the green drought. Isn't it lovely? If you stand back from a distance, everything looks pretty good. However, if you get a bit closer, what you find is somewhat less encouraging. Whereas down there in the valley, the forest is mostly still alive. Up here, on top of the hills, where the th soil is thin, it's going to take a long time for some of these trees to recover, assuming that they ever will. Because the thing is, once upon a time, these trees were able to live here and grow here when winter overnight minimum temperatures were so low that nothing grew. So there was little demand for moisture to support metabolic rate during the winter. However, Global warming means higher average temperatures and much higher minimum temperatures. So what used to be enough in an average year to keep the forest alive is now insufficient because of the extra metabolic activity conducted during the winter months owing to the higher temperature and different species are affected differently and different trees have their roots going into different cracks in the ground which are of different depths and therefore those trees have differing access to water and right now this place is pleasantly tinged with green, depending on where one stands and how far back. But the thing is, progressively year by year, this warm winter dryness induced forest drought I suppose you'd call it. it it doesn't seem to affect the grasslands down the bottom as much as it does under the canopy it's getting worse year by year I can remember when there were just a few individual trees that suddenly mysteriously went brown at the end of winter. And at the moment, we've technically had three consecutive months of above average rain. And for somebody from the city or the coast, passing by or flying overhead. It all looks pretty green. But the figures show differently. And the story is that regardless of surface appearances, the underlying figures never lie. At least that's the theory.
turns out that in September had a pretty good month to the tune of 45.55 millimeters which is 1.82 inches if we get away from the confusion of that calendar and have a look at what the sky was doing rainfall is in blue there were eight rainy days in order to arrive at the 45.55 millimeters we see that the average for september 44.2, 45.55, so we are indeed better than average for the past three months consecutively. Look, see, above average rainfall, one, two, three months consecutively in a row. Does that mean that the drought she is over? That we're back on track? That soil moisture profile is normal again 335 millimeters for the year to date and we should have had 550 or so in an average year so by my allegations we are missing out at the present on 60 uh, 40 percent of what we would normally get in an average year even though Somewhere in government service in the capital city, there's a civil servant or a bureaucrat who's going to say you've had three consecutive months above average rainfall, so you're not in a drought, are you? And therefore, thus and because, that is why, at a grassroots level, a green drought. as the grass pokes up between the dry leaves dropped by the dying trees So, that's how my drought's going. Situation the same and the problem still remains. Barnaby Joyce's drought is ongoing. It's just turned green, that's all. Such is life. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.